Hey everybody, so today I wanted to share something that I picked up with you the other day um, and kind of just give a review on it because I haven't heard very many people talking about this brand and I swatched it also when I went in like a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing but then I tucked myself out of it by the time I left I was like, no, I don't need it, just don't do it um, but then I went back to Ulta about a week ago about a week ago, a week ago. Anyway, um, and I swatched it again and I just couldn't help myself and I went and I bought it. And it's just the CK1 powder eyeshadow palette. And this is the first palette that CK1 has ever done. Obviously, for anybody who doesn't know Calvin Klein. I don't know, I've never seen this brand anywhere else besides Ulta. It might be an Ulta exclusive. But this just came out and it's, it's definitely been less than a month um, that this has come out. The packaging looks just like this. It's like a le uh, nice sleek black, just kind of like the front case. And it comes with a little like paper on top that shows all of the names of everything. And it comes with a little brush as well. And then 10 eyeshadow shades. This is an awesome neutral palette. I mean, obviously there's some darker shades over here. But I feel like everybody needs like a really good neutral palette that most people have. I mean, I have the Naked 3. I really do enjoy that, but at the same time, I just kind of, I don't find myself using it that often. But as soon as I felt these shadows, I just knew that I needed to pick this up. I've used it once so far, only just because like, sometimes on my days off, I'm so like, busy with work normally that I just don't want to put makeup on at all. But the first time I did use this, it's just these are probably the creamiest eyeshadows I've ever felt in my entire life. So if you are interested in that at all, I would definitely go give these a swatch. Even if you're not completely sure. Because, like I said, with the colors for me right off the bat, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't I don't need it. But then I touched it and I felt it and I just, I couldn't stay away. I want to say there's, one, two, three, four. I think that there's like four out of the ten shadows. There's four that I believe are matte. The cream, the brown, this dark purple and then I believe the dark blue is as well so these two and then these two and I believe these six are, have some form of like a shimmer or a satin finish but I want to swatch a couple of these for you just so you can see how I wish I could like let you feel this because this is literally one of those things where you really do just want to keep swirling your finger in it they're not the most they're not the most pigmented shadows I've ever used. This is that matte brown shade. But it's so buildable and it's so, they blend so well together. It's a very seamless blend. And this one right here is the closest thing I have found to Anastasia Fresh, which is my favorite highlight shade for the brow bone. And let me see, we'll do the champagne color next. They're just so nice and very light here which is why I say it's a perfect neutral palette because you have the darker shades where you can make a more smoky look but you definitely have the colors that will make it a little bit more just like a really effortless I think it'd be great for spring my favorite one is this purple one I'm going to shadow or wow I'm going to swatch for you it might not come off too well on camera here but it's just right here it's the most amazing kind of like taupey lavender color it's this one right here and it is a shimmer but none of these have pieces of glitter at all. They're very, like, smooth and, like, a creamy satin glitter, satin shimmer shade. And another one, I really like this green color. It's kind of like an olive, an olive green color. But none of these are overwhelming, which is part of the reason I love this palette so much. That's the green one right here. Like I said, these all look so light in here. It's not translating quite as much on camera. But they're really really nice I don't believe that any of these come in singles yet I mean obviously probably hopefully if they do well enough with the palette they'll be able to bring some of these out in singles I'm gonna swatch this blue I haven't used this one yet that's what the blue looks like it comes off a little bit better on my finger it's just like a really pretty metallic blue we'll put that one right here it's so hard on with blues see it's not coming off nearly as well as on my finger there but um <laughs> A lot of blues are gray on me. I've never been able to completely understand that concept, but they definitely do. And then I'll just show you the little brush. I haven't used this yet, but it's just a dual-ended mini little brush. One side it says is for like shading, and the other side is for like for contour. So it's just a cute little mini dual-ended brush there for you. 
and I haven't used that so I can't give you a review on that. I've never used any of the CK1 products. It did come with like a little, I'm not sure if they still have it at Ulta, but it did come with like a little mini sample kit because if you spend over like so much because it's the beauty thing at Ulta right now, the 21 days of beauty, I got a little kit and it came with like a two-in-one like foundation, one of their foundations a mini and then two little glosses so I'll try those out too. But I've been so impressed in the quality. I mean, I don't want to show you without blinding you, but like the mirror is really, really good quality on this. It's just like, I don't know if you can hear that, but I feel like when you tap a mirror, you can see what the quality is of it. And that one is spot on. It's not a circus mirror and you could definitely, I think this would be awesome for traveling. You could just pop this in and it has all those great neutral shades and the mirror is really good. So if you're on the go, you can kind of just do this on one and it is convenient because if you don't want to keep that little sheet in the front with all the names it does say them all here and break it down just kind of like on the shade and light palette from Kat Von D. it's the same type of thing so you can see those as well so that is pretty much it I really just wanted to get on here and share that with you because I've been so excited this is probably like the most excited I've been for a palette that I had no knowledge of at all so I would highly recommend going into your local Ulta because I don't believe they sell it anywhere else and picking up the CK1 eyeshadow palette. I believe it is 38 or so, like right around there. So not bad at all. So good. So anybody looking for a go-to neutral palette, I will definitely go over there and give this one a try. I will definitely link the link for this one on the Ulta website below. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you all in my next video in a couple days. Oh, oh, and I'm so excited. The eye look that I have on right now and the lips are from the ColourPop Spring line that I got. I picked up a bunch of stuff and that just came in the mail today. So I would definitely, I'm going to be doing a video on that really soon. Probably like one tutorial and then maybe like one swatch or kind of combine the two. So look forward to that coming soon within the next week or two at the very most. Alrighty, so everyone have an amazing day and week and I will see you in a few days for my next video. Bye!